wondering, what the heck is GI and Con Display? Well, we're about to show you exactly what these events are. Group interpretation is taking a story and explaining it in 30 minutes. You can't use sets or props or costumes. And so anything that you do for the story, you have to use your bodies and to tell the story. Okay. How has being involved in group interpretation helped you grow as a director? Well, it makes you think outside the box for sure, um, because you're not allowed to have a lot of different things. So you have to start being creative in how you can present stories and creating scenes. The goals are to advance from sectionals and get to state and then see what we can do at state for competition. How has being in GI and con display helped you grow as a performer? Oh, um, well both I'd say have really helped me hone my skills as just like pure acting, especially contest play in terms of uh, getting inside someone else's head, being two completely different people for the past two years I've done it has really kind of opened my worldview, just kind of opened what I'm capable of more than just surface level. And with GI, it just really helps me connect with the audience, I say, because they're all right there in front of you while still like maintaining your character. What are your personal goals for this season? Well, the biggest one, of course, is making it to state for both because, you know, with GI, we've had a long track and we hope to keep that going. And GI and uh, contest play, excuse me, uh, same thing. But also, I would just say just to connect with the audience better than I have in previous years and just to learn something from my roles because I always try to take away something with each performance. Contest play is the best and most difficult thing a performer and a director can do. It's where they take a full play and cut it down to 40 minutes. 40 minutes of intense perfection acting that's going to go in front of a group of judges um, that hopefully will award you with a first place so that you can go on to that uh, wonderful place that we all hope to go to, but we don't say the name till we get there. <laughs> How has being in contest play helped you grow as a director? Um, I get really emotional about it because we live in each other's pockets and we push each other's buttons all the time and we push to be the best we can be and when I get a chance to see them on stage being the very best they can be, it's super emotional, really satisfying to watch them grow to be what they want to be up there. And to have judges recognize that is amazing. Now that we know what these record-breaking activities are, make sure you stop by March 16th to the Sterling Sectional to show your support. Now on to Carter. Thanks, Sarah. Now let's see how well our SHS students know their movies. Can we turn our beds into bunk beds? Yes. Why are you guys so sweaty? All right, we've already figured out how to do this. The beds match up perfectly. And here's the thing, it'll give us so much extra space in our room to do activities. Please say yes. You don't... I have no idea. I don't think I don't want to read. Children of the corn? I I'm gonna call the cops. We are cops. We're Navy SEALs. Navy SEALs aren't cops? Aren't you a paper boy? I'm undercover. I don't know. <laughs> Yes. Do I just have to guess? Okay. Yeah. Um, mall cop. That's a good guess. No, wearing army pants and flip flops, so I bought army pants and flip flops. Who uh, Finding Nemo? I don't know. No, it's not. Uh, eating up all the food, all the chicken, all the pig feet, all the collard green, all the hog malls. I want to eat some of them chitlin. I love pig feet. That's Friday. Maybe our students should watch more movies. Now let's go to Giselle with Spring Ready. Thanks, Carter. Now let's see what we need to be reminded of for the new season. Don't forget AP testing is coming up. The sign-up sheet is in the office. This one is for all you seniors. Your scholarship deadlines are coming up, so go check Naviance for them. Now that we talked about seniors, juniors, you guys need to start thinking about what you're going to do after high school. Prom is coming up, so don't forget to go shopping for your most needed prom necessities. Now that you've been reminded, let's go check out Chicken Nugget Challenge. Thanks, Giselle. Now let's take a look at our take on the Chicken Nugget Challenge. <laughs> Serena, <laughs> who do you think is going to win? I will put money on Gannon. Money on Gannon. 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 
Gannon. <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> Cooper. Get it to, yeah, to me. Yeah. Uh, Carter. I don't know. No, Gannon. Gannon. Cooper. Carter's the underdog. Carter <laughs> Ryan is the underdog. Uh, Cooper. Okay. I don't know. Probably Isaiah or Gannon. Yeah. Gannon. 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 Gannon.